Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First I want to say thank you for the 100 subscribers that I recently saw I've had. Now, uh, let's start. This is a brand new game. Everyone's in love with it. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. So, currently, let's see if- Oh, we can join the game already. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we're in the game. Hooray, I'm here. I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show. Bye! Alright, so, um... Oh, it's the canter loop. Oh, it's that little mini game. What is energy for this? I literally just watched Future the Gamer play this this morning. So, yeah. Hey, Mr. Brown is back. Hooray for us. Okay, they're choosing. Um, someone's choosing now. Zoo pals. Wait a minute. Hey, that's my friend. Hello. For that expression we all know and love, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's one of those silly straws that are bent into crazy shapes. Coincidentally, this one's meant to be shaped like a camel, if you squint and look at it just the right way. Thought to be lost to time until we came along, this piece of history could now be what breaks your back too. Well, this prize are always so exciting. Will you answer this next question correctly and win it? We know you love them. Here's Forty the Smart Board. Another one? Oh, okay. Um, here it is. Look at this beluga whale. It's got a funny little. Oh, I know, I, I know the answer. So. I saw it this morning. And navigate using echolocation. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's what go. is that called? Melon. It's called a melon. I don't know why it's called a melon. But it said melon this morning, so I'm gonna go with melon. Woo I got the reward. I mean, the reward. The award. Thanks for having the me. Award, award. See you next time. All right. Maybe. Hey, a fresh face. Oh, it's my bestie's turn. All right. Uh. It's lit, fam! Ye all know the famous tale of the book named Moby Dick. A sailor swore revenge against that samely named White Whale. How does this ever famous tale begin? I don't know this. It's called. It's the first one. It's the first one. It's the first one. Call me Ishmael. Oh, I meant to answer it as well. Damn it. We asked at the same time. <laughs> False. What? Oh, I got it right. Oh, you didn't get the. Oh, no. And it's back to you.
What are you gonna choose? It's lit, fam! <laughs> to be or not to be? Oh, wait, that I know this one. is not the question. The question is, who wrote the famous play, Hamlet? Ha, this is the easiest one ever. Boom. <laughs> Woo! Wait, yay for me. I got it. It's me. Hey, you come her off the... No, I'm here. What category are you? Let's see what I'm going to choose. Show the studio's eyes at the prize. Nonsense, nonsense, eaters. And that's nonsense, non sequiturs. Buckle up. It's about to Can a get... matchbox? Can a matchbox? Um. No, but I didn't can. I don't know. I think I got that wrong. Oh, I'm just going right. I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. It's been a while. Guess for that. Car battery. Huh? All right. Big laundry. Here on behalf of Smart oh, Technologies, it's Forty the Talking Smart Board. Here's your question. Up, up. What's the name of this Scottish skirt like garment? Kilt. Kilt. Also, why spell called Homer? Not a chance. Yeah, you've got it right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm out of here! Peace! Go ahead. Use the device's input method. Alright. Alright, bestie, you can do this. Zoo Pals. Yes! Here long. comes the oh. coolest screen around. It's Forty the Smart Board! Yes, it's hey, hey, kids! It's your old pal, Forty! Take a look at this fur pattern. Which animal does it belong to? Oh, it's leopard. Leopard. Oh, no, it's leopard. Leopard. It's leopard. Leopard. Wait, I, I, I just hit leopard. Oh. No way. Okay, it's just not my bad. That's a good motion. I'm out of here! Peace! Peace, man, peace. Next time, don't come back. Literally. You are really pushing me right now. It's my turn. Let's go, let's go. Once again, what will it be? Why does he keep skipping by itself? Zoo Pals, obviously. Zoo Pals! It's time to test your I'm animal. looking forward to seeing the famous flightless dodo when I next go bird watching. And what else? what's that? There uh, aren't any more. There aren't any more. There no. haven't been for hundreds of years. Dodos are dead. Oh, what's Quite the extinct. word used to describe when the population Ex of a species is completely extinct, wiped out? Extinct, extinct. It starts with an E. Extinct. Boom. I've got it. I 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 got it. Also, guys, I made that avatar up. I made it. I made it. So, trademark. That that character's trick. Lord Necro. Right. That's true. I learned some science a lot. Um, no. We learned it in a subject. I forgot what it was. This very expensive grill from Dinkman! 
Pull up a chair and host the cookout of the century. You'll be serving up a whole lot of smiles by utilizing the latest in charcoal technology. And maybe the neighbors will finally stop bragging about how great their life is with their fancy SUV and their two dogs and their running hot water. Look, I'm sorry, Doug, okay? I can't move my car out of the way to let the street sweeper down our block. The battery is dead, and I make game show announcer money, which isn't a lot, so it's going to stay that way, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Why is he up? Here's our shovelware's brain game grand champion. We'll see you all next time for another brain tingling episode well of well shovelware's brain game. Well, I'll be right back, guys. Shovelware's brain game is made possible by players like you. Thank you. All right, back. Yeah. So hi. Hey, uh. Wow. I'm from good. I'm from good. So they cross go be in nine one. what we do this time. Uh-huh, yeah, extra pepperoni. 30 minutes or it's free? Okay, great, that's, oh, oh, it's a Shovelware's Brain Game! <laughs> Introducing the banana with a plan, the Dancing Banana! Okay, that guy stole my original avatar from like, I don't know, another time. But yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I didn't realize he'd actually know me that old too. Like, uh, Monumental uh, landmarks! Did you see the way the banana just like fell down and just all went out of my glasses? All and these normal questions have oh, me yeah. pretty bored. You know who isn't bored, but is a board? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board! You know what I do really love? Well, the host of the conference brings me out of Check out this sweet pick from my recent on-set film gym! I'm talking about YouTube about 100 subscribers. Can you figure out where before. in the world I was? And yes, I'm saying that because I'm saying it's a famous one to Denmark, uh, I don't know. That was, me. That was my puzzle. Nope. I have you all the wrong one. Dan. Thanks for having me! See you next time! And 
Or how would I have known that? Oh, speed versus home book. Alright. Science rules. Science rules! Is that the rules of science or that science is really cool? Yes, I do. It's the board of entertainment himself, Forty the Smart Boy. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Here's a question from me to you. All right. Let's see this. Look at this diagram of a cell. It's a nucleus. It's a nucleus. What is the part in I the know very this. center called? The nucleus. It's where all the DNA is stored. Genetic material and all that. Oh yes, two more people coming. Oh god. Eukaryotic or some kind of function. Eukaryotic are living cells, prokaryotic are non-living cells. Well, I fulfilled my duties. Bye for now. Why don't you just stay on the stage? Oh, here's I know we've been up. Just hello, kid. Am I right? Alright. I think I could do all, any of them, really. Well, not big, laundry. big laundry. Oh, I just said not big laundry. Big, big laundry. We can't believe they're letting us use his likeness. It's Forty the Smart Board. Yeah. Howdy, folks! It's time for a question presented by me, Forty. Take a look at this garment from ancient Rome. What is it called? No. It's called a toga. My bad, toga. It's a toga. You know why? I did. I studied Latin from year seven to year nine. It was the worst thing in my life. Boom! I got it right. Thanks for having me. See you next time. Broccoli, oh, it's the nerd. It's the nerd. Should I be taking notes? Um, no, this isn't school. This isn't school. Thank you. So that's a pretty nice podium you've got to Ready to pick a category? Oh, I think Zoo Pals is the only one I'll be able to do. Zoo Pals! Oh, thank God, I chose it. Quack, quack. Here comes the coolest oh screen around. It's 40 the Smart Force! I like visual questions. Here's one. Bruh, I swear I've seen this animal before. What is the name of it again? It's a Q thing. It's a Q thing. It's a Q thing. There we go. Q. Quetzalcoatl. Something like that. I don't know. That's incorrect. Sorry. Yeah, all right. And the first person you get to that gets ten points. Thank you so much for answering my question. Bye bye. Artistic integrity. Oh, I didn't choose that. I thought it was, my, it was my turn. When working in computer graphics, artists sometimes unwrap the sides of a character or object to project additional detail and color onto it using an image called a texture. What is this process called? UV mappy, stretch mappy, video mappy, globe, globe mappy. I can do my little notes. Oh, I, I got it wrong as well? UV mappy. It's time to pick a category. Let's hear it. Uh, I'm surprised to talk about state's artistic integrity. Talk about st uh, artistic integrity. I know artistic about integrity. The easiest one. We'll be talking about art and maybe, if you're lucky, integrity. What's that sound? It's the bonus. Part. Ooh, yes, I don't. Why is this skip by itself? Or is that part of the game? 
We'll be providing travel and lodging accommodations to the Swiss Alps. Hit the slopes at a five-star ski resort with scenic vistas, world-class service, and definitely no Yetis preparing to chase you down the side of the mountain, forcing you to deftly dodge rocks and trees. Yeah. Oh, ain't that just a fine and dandy prize? Quit Prime that. Merry Colors. Colors oh, you can mix easy. together to get I'm any other color. Coffee, if you coffee, had coffee. some spotlights and wanted to be able to mix together every color you could think of, what colors of light would you need? Red, blue, green. Thank you. Ah, my neck. Good enough! I am on fire. Oh, Mitsuri, welcome. Welcome, Mitsuri. So that bonus prize is yours. Thank you very much. Please don't do it, it's split fast. Zoo pals. Oh, zoo pals. I think I'm really good at zoo pals. I went to the zoo like three times. What was the bonus prize? I'm gonna get that. A miniature version of the famous statue, the Thinker. Just think of all its many uses. Hmm. 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 I think you could think of one if you thought about it long enough. I'll take it. Thank you very much. I'm in terrible pain. A snake just bit me, and its dangerous toxins are now coursing through my veins. What term would you use to describe the aforementioned snake? Venomous. I got it. Correct! Do I get it right? Oh, I got it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you want to know about that, you should just leave that comment. You know, I was just reminded. Ooh, I unlocked a secret. You put in the effort and you run. I mean, those are really difficult hobbies that I. What's those changes the channel? Ah, I get it. So if anybody wants to trade up, I'm I'm around. Oh, now I'm hungry. I don't blame you for changing the channel. I wonder how it just skips by itself. I'm still wondering about that. <sighs> what are you gonna choose? Eyes on the prizes. My, my, my mouth is This is such a brand new game that came out like yesterday, I think. So what is the model yeah. year of the Evolvo Fart Hinder? Fart Hinder? Model of the Evolvo Fart Hinder. Okay, um. I haven't really heard of it any recently. Oh, that's just plain wrong. You all go wrong. Whoa! It's not even... Well, it does say this game's going to get a little dark eventually, so... Science rules. All right. Okay. Or, I don't know. No, the rules of physics are not similar then. If you can answer this next question correctly, you'll win a special bonus prize. As seen in Frederick Shrunken School Lobby, it's the Infrigerator from Von Bootleg Brands. That's right, it was product placement the whole time. With removable inner shelves and real boxing glove action, the Infrigerator is sure to help you keep your nefarious revenge against society properly served cold. That's interesting. Here to collect his paycheck, it's Forty the Smart Ball! If Bernardo ever goes weird, I hope Bernardo choose Forty, because I don't know. I just got that Forty. It's time for a Forty question! 
fucking voice is changing. Oh wait. Ah, uh, I was stupid. Hold the space to do it. It's easy for them to look up different elements and their properties without having to memorize them. But we're throwing all that out the window and seeing if you've memorized one for the sake of trivia. What is the name of the element shown here? Damn it. So high. So high. It's not. It's half new. Has to be half new. Hey, you try. Oh, it was probably Mercury, wasn't it? Ah. Thank you so much for answering my question. It does sometimes we run out. They're not I it, right? It's I R. But it's actually the period table. The letters are F E for ferrous. Like the letters. Like... Oh, lit! Oh, lit! It's yeah, lit, lit, fam. I'll do it. It's lit, fam. You know those old stories, right? I like to read, but I only read the popular stuff, like all-time popular. In fact, I just read the best-selling novel of all time. <laughs> it sold so much. It must be super trendy and uber popular. <laughs> um, what was the name of it again? Probably the Hobbit. I can't express what I'm saying, that's not quite right. I can't say the Hobbit, I don't know. Don Quixote? It's glitch. I think it's part of the, I think it's part of the show. Isn't it? Crustify me, Commander. It's a single box of delicious Commander Crust cereal. With delicious sweetened corn flavor and shaped like, um, uh, hay bales? Or something. This cereal is part of a precariously balanced breakfast. Congratulations! Oh, I got it! The winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! For another exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game, stay tuned! We'll be right back after these messages. Oh, this episode is sponsored by Smart Technologies. For real, thanks, fellas. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, so that, that, this was, um, Sho Shovelware's Brain Game. And, um, yeah, this was really good. We had fun. Okay. Alright, well, the game. Uh, how about this? Right, um, shout out to all of you because you're on YouTube now. I'm recording for YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. Well done. Yeah. Alright, so uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, how about we just go over here, and then we'll be like, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, thumbnail for this thing. Um, hmm. Yo, ah, oh, nah, ready? Yeah, hey, just get the boat in there. Oh, wait, um... 
my name. It's time to bring the brain. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game. Actually, I thought this is He's your host of mine, the Dancing Banana. Oh, that looks painful. Let's do talking about the states. Talking about states. What state would something be said to be in if it was old, broken, and falling apart? Oh, state of state of emergency. Or oh, state of disrepair, maybe. Oh, maybe we should have a disrepair. But you can fix up this old broken. Not a chance. Damn. I don't know this guy. Make a full nice. Pay more her. Science rules. <laughs> You're under arrest. The charges brought against you? You jumped up into the air and didn't come back down. You just kind of hung there, midair. In this instance, which of Newton's laws did you break? The nose of nasal cavity? <laughs> what? Oldest nephew, yo, what's up? I'm the oldest nephew. The dancing banana. That over there is my younger brother. His no nephew, I pull the curtain. Hey, we, we're getting somewhere. So on the clipboard approaching me angrily. He'll get back to the show. Huh. Well, that's the end of my insight. Back to you, Uncle Boz, Bosma. Oh, Uncle Bosma. <laughs> Oh, I love his, um, I love the, uh, thing here. Nonsense non sequiturs. The category is Greek history. Your question is, The manifestation. You've just posted cringe. Artistic integrity. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty. Well, here I am. Check it. What is the name of this famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci? Dracula, the famous vampire. Dracula, I like Bram Stoker. to suck your blood and then pick your brain with trivia. Which actor portrayed what is widely considered 
to be the most iconic performance of the iconic character who I totally am. Hello, Adam Sandler. What? Adam Sandler is a total. He's totally amazing. Oh, I've got a few Garrett YouTube. Garrett YT. There's a YouTuber. There's another YouTuber. Hello. Shovelware Studios. Right. What character speaks to you about the objects your slime consumes in Super Slime Simulator? The answer is what all true slimes strive for. I don't know if you love that, so right. See, I flopped it badly. But he was... He was on fire. Artistic integrity. You know, you may not believe it, but I'm not just a game show announcer guy. I'm also an artist. I'm working on a painting. I have an idea in my head, but I haven't thought it through all the way yet. Before I put my paint to canvas, I want to do some more rough sketches to try and solidify the idea. What are those sketches called again? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll say rough, but then it's not an option. Talking about states. The Grand Canyon is a famous canyon found in a certain U.S. state. In fact, that state is nicknamed the Grand Canyon State. Which state is it? Correct! I turn, uh, to go states. Talking about states. <laughs> this self help book I had in my car. Listen, um, between you and me, I'm probably going to need it back pretty soon, but you can borrow it for now, okay? What is the most populated city in the U.S. state of Missouri? Talking about states. What? Do I want to go to Friendly Burger? Sure. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Bismarck is the capital city of the U.S. state of North Dakota. 
But which of the following is the most populous city in the state? Oh, wait, I should have Fargo. It's Fargo. Off the mark! My bad. It's Fargo. My bad. A dancing hot dog! Hey! Guy, get out of there! We're trying to do a show here! Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? But that's a guy. It's just a man. An alive being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, Banana Nephew character? Pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's gotta be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing hot dog again. Huh. What are you still doing here? Banana Nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. A dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again, and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. What? It's just the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one-to-one, -one, and I am just not getting it. Right? Banana Nephew? Is that your name? The Middle Nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, Middle Nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. <sighs> this dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. That prize. And now our grand champion. You did it! Well you done. got the biggest breed of yeah. all! Got it. Don't you. touch that dial! Shovelware's Brain Game will be back with another episode after a short break. Shovelware's Brain Game is that brought to you by really Shovelware good. Studios. That's us. Because when you hear Shovelware, you think quality. Oh, that was fun. Uh, let's go back. Oh, you can get a poop, poop buzzer? Ah, that sounds funny. What kind of buzzer is this? Oh, the purple guy's a name pick. You can get that. Well done on the show. Let's get a little screenshot with uh, Mr. So um, that's watching guys, um, this was a really fun game, we really loved it, uh, and um, see you next time.